Hello everyone, for those of you who have not been following me on Instagram, I've been putting together little fun find videos on my Instagram stories. I've compiled all of these little fun finds into a short little film that you guys are going to watch right now. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, make sure you go follow me over on Instagram, otherwise we will be posting it right here on this page sometime in the near future. Enjoy! So back in 1963, Disney released an often forgotten about film called Summer Magic starring Haley Mills, Dorothy McGuire, and Burl Ives as the character Ash Popham. The character of Ash Popham ran the local store much like the Emporium behind us here. Which is fitting because if you go through this entrance of the Emporium, you can see on the window that the proprietor is none other than Ash Popham. The Upside Down Room in Pete Safari has lots of different fun finds, including different things like Hidden Mickeys, but in the back section of the wall, one of the possums that's hanging is actually missing its entire body. Look, there's just a tail! The Walt Disney World Railroad receiving door that's behind me might be a great place for people to get their pictures taken, but did you know there's a few fun finds here? Here you can find references to the 1933 classic cartoon, The Three Little Pigs, and the 1940 film, Fantasia, with the Big Bad Wolf and the Hyacinth Hippo. In addition to that, you can also find a reference to the 1987 Pixar film, Red Stream, and a hat box that reads 10 shillings and 6 pence, aka the price that's on the Mad Hatter's hat. Tortuga Tavern is an often forgotten about restaurant here at the Magic Kingdom, but it has a few little fun finds. Now, it doesn't just have a sign for the former restaurant, El Pirate y El Perito, the Pirate and the Parrot, but in the back room you can actually find the roster for the Black Pearl, which is now captained by Captain Jack Sparrow. Liberty Square is one of the most detailed lands throughout all the parks. It's story time. In 1775, Paul Revere did his famous midnight ride. He instructed the church sextons of the North Church to hang one lantern up if the British were coming by land and two if they are coming by sea. Which brings us to a location located between the Columbia Harbor House and the Hall of Presidents. Guests can find these two lanterns in the window indicating that the Redcoats did indeed come from sea. So the leave a legacy area around me is considered an eyesore by some, but did you know that there's actually a fun find here? When going near the entrance and taking a look at the Leave a Legacy at letter F, you can actually go right down here and see the members of NSYNC. So in 1986, Disney released a film called Flight of the Navigator. Two of the ships that were used in the filming of this movie actually made their way to Walt Disney World. The first was found at the Studio Backlot Tour, while the second one was repainted and placed here in Tomorrowland on top of the Cool Scanner. While the Seas with Nemo and Friends has some really cool fun finds inside the pavilion, there's one outside the pavilion that is often overlooked. The plant life found outside is not actually buried in mulch or rocks, but little tiny seashells. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, for more fun, fine videos, make sure you're following us right here on this page. Until next time, we'll see you guys all a little later. Bye bye